Hi guys, welcome to Artsy Kids. Today we're doing another Halloween drawing since it's almost Halloween and we're doing a little kitten inside of a pumpkin. It's gonna be super cute. So I got my Sharpie, paper, colored pencils, markers. Let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is make two circles for eyes in the middle of the paper, kind of a little bit up. More towards the top, but not all the way up there. Put little circles inside the eyes for reflection. Curves inside the eyes like this. And then we're just gonna color in this part right here. Then we're gonna do a little tiny triangle for a nose, kind of in between the eyes towards the bottom. Then we're gonna do, we're gonna do a curve on top of his head, for the top of his head, but we're gonna start right over the end of his eye right there. I'm gonna do a little curve right to there. So we're gonna go up at an angle for one of his ears, and then down. On the other side, we're gonna do the same thing, up at an angle, and then down. Then we're gonna do like this big U shape for the bottom of his face. Three little whiskers coming out the side. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do two paws right here. So we're going to do them, they're kind of going to be like an oval shape. So first we're going to do the top like curve like this, and then another curve, and then do like a wide U. Then we're going to do a line between the two of them. And then a line kind of going up to the top of the pumpkin. So we're going to kind of curve it up like this because he's sitting inside the pumpkin. Then we're going to take, we're going to do the side of the pumpkin right here. So we're going to do a big curve to there. Do the same thing on the other side. Right to there. And then we're going to still make the end kind of curvy, a little bit more flat, but also kind of curvy. And meet those two points together. Now we're going to draw the rest of his body. So we're just going to take it right here, go down like that in a curved line from his head to the inside of the pumpkin. Then we're going to do, we're going to put the top of the pumpkin off to the side. So this one's kind of tricky, but you're just going to do a little slanted line like this. Just follow along with me. Then you're going to do a curved line like this. Another slanted line going up in the opposite direction. Then we're going to do another curve that follows the same curve of the first one like that. And then we're going to go in a curved line going back up like this until we meet the side of the pumpkin because it's leaning this is the top of the pumpkin leaning against the body of the pumpkin now we're going to make a stem so we're going to do a curved line like that a short little straight line to the top of the stem and then we're going to curve back in then we'll do one of these swirly things off to the side like pumpkins have sometimes all right, now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a straight line down the middle of the pumpkin. Then as we go to the right, we're gonna do, continue doing these lines, but we're gonna curve them in the direction of this side of the pumpkin. So we're gonna make another one, it's gonna be kind of curved. And then another one, a little bit more curved like that. And you're gonna do the same thing on this side, pulling it from the opposite direction. So another curve. And you can pause anytime if you need to catch up. All right, we're almost done. Now we're just going to do the face of the pumpkin. So we're going to do a triangle. We're just going to draw right over the top of these. So to the left side, we're going to do a triangle for one of the eyes. You color it in. Then we're going to do another triangle for the other eye. And color it in. Now for the mouth, 
we are going to start up here like the corner of the mouth and we're going to go down a little bit in a downward curve stop there we're going to make a tooth so we're going to go down little short line down little short line across and little short line up and then we're going to continue the smile up to the next corner like that then we'll start back at this corner come down a little bit in the curve go over right to here and stop up over and down again to form another tooth and then continue the smile all the way back up to the corner and then we're going to color all of this in all right now something that i like to do you don't have to do this but i like to do these little zigzag lines around the cat's body i don't do his ears i just do the top of his head and his face and the rest of his body and paws i just leave the ears normal and it just kind of makes him look that fuzzy it gives him that hairy effect and i'll usually go over his ears a second time just to make the lines kind of thicker because i think it blends in better like that just make those lines a little bit thicker all right and now we can just color it in you could also add a leaf if you want to. I think I might add a little leaf off to the side too. All right. And then also another extra thing that I like to do is I thought it, it would be kind of cool to put like some leaves coming down. This is just if you want to do the extra work. It looks like there's some leaves falling. All right guys, here's the finished picture. I don't know if you noticed, but sometimes I'll outline the picture with Sharpie a second time to make the line a little bit thicker because I feel like it makes it stand out a little bit more. I also added leaves, which I didn't really give directions on how to do, but I do think I'm going to do a fall leaf video probably next month and give a little bit more detail on that. They're really fun to make. Um, please send me your pictures. I really wanna see how everybody's pictures turned out. Make sure you subscribe to our channel below and give us a big thumbs up. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.